Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today we're gonna be doing a short set of acrylic nails. So of course, the first thing that we're doing is just going in and pushing back the cuticles. This is going to expose the new growth and help with reducing lifting. This is a really important step. You definitely never want to skip it. And when you're doing this, you can use a plastic wood or metal cuticle pusher as long as it can be disinfected or disposed of. Next, we're going in with a 180 sanding band to remove the shine from the natural nail. This is my actual speed, so I just want you guys to see how gentle I am filing on the nail. I'm filing literally just to remove the shine. I don't want to thin down the nail. I'm literally just getting rid of the shine. Um, as you guys can see, our nails are naturally shiny. The reason why is because our body produces a lot of oils. Those oils happen to be on our natural nails. So if we were just to go in and apply the acrylic right on top of the shiny nail, they literally would come off that same day. Um, because it's just like water and oil they just don't mix so it's the same thing if you were to just apply acrylic um, or even like polish or anything on the nail without prepping it so again this is a 180 sending band I am using my scarlet Melody Susie nail drill and I'm using it at 5,000 rpms during this step um, the sending bands I do have on my website which is currently open so be sure to go check it out because it is closing really soon so I'm gonna go ahead and speed it up um, because it's gonna be the same step on all of the nails Alrighty, so after we finish removing the shine from the natural nails, I'm gonna go in and apply the nail tips. The most important part of applying nail tips is making sure that you apply the correct size tips. You don't want to apply tips that are too big or too small. You want them to fit exactly from sidewall to sidewall. If they are too small or too big, they're gonna either lift or break. Um, a lot of the time if you apply them too small, most likely they're gonna break because that nail tip, you're forcing it down. So eventually it's gonna wanna come back up and it's just gonna break. Um, and then if, there's too, if they're too big, they're gonna hang off your client's natural nail. And then moisture, your face serum, lotion, whatever you use that's a liquid is gonna get underneath your nail and it's gonna cause the nail to lift. A lot of the times there are tips that you know might be a little too big, like one might be a little too big, the other one might be a little too small. So always go with the bigger nail tip and just file it down on the side to make it fit perfectly. And then to apply the nail tips, I am using my KDS glue, which I also have available on my website. The nail tips are also available on my website, which I absolutely love because they're just like the average um, size and they're also really sturdy so you don't have to worry about breaking off really easily and then also you don't have to worry about having to apply so much acrylic I've used tips before that are really thin and I feel like you have to apply so much more acrylic but these I absolutely love again these tips are on my website I've been using these I think really almost like my whole entire nail career i've used these nail tips and i just absolutely love them um so we're gonna go ahead and finish applying the nail tips oh yeah and then also another thing whenever you're applying nail tips is making sure that you hold your client's nail really straight that way the nail is not crooked and if you accidentally do apply the nail on there um and it's crooked make sure that you just go ahead and remove the nail tip you can just cut it down and then do a cotton ball with acetone and a little clip or aluminum foil and just let the nail tip soak off because if you just leave it on there 
it's still going to be crooked even whenever you shape it up and you're definitely going to be able to tell so you just might as well go in there and cut it off and replace it um next we're going in with the tip cutter as you can see we are cutting them fairly short um and of course after we finish cutting them we're going to go ahead and measure them against the other hand to make sure that they're all the correct size Alrighty, so after we finish applying the nail tips, I'm not going to shape them up now because they're already a square shape. So what I'm doing is just going in with that same 180 sanding band that I used to remove the shine from the natural nail. And I'm just gonna blend the nail tip right in the middle. I usually don't do this, but y'all, my wrist be hurting whenever I file nails. So I've just been trying to find little things here and there that would just take away some of that work from my wrist. Um, you know, whenever you do nails for a really long time, you start experiencing back problems, wrist problems, all type of problems. So definitely one tip that I can tell you you guys for beginners is to take care of yourself okay actually i thought i wasn't going to reshape them or shape them up but i went ahead and just very um quickly shape them up because again they're already that square shape um so i'm just going in and basically redefining the shape but a lot of the time when the nails are already short um sometimes i don't shape them up before i apply the acrylic because you do take away some of that length when you file them you know when you shape them like this first time and then i have to reshape them again after the acrylic application so to keep some of that length i just shape at the end um but anyways we're just going in on the sides in the free edge at exactly a 90 degree angle on both hands and remember that whenever you are shaping your nails you want to make sure that you are paying attention to the way that you're holding your file because if not your shape is going to be either rounded at the corners or you're going to over file on one side so make sure that you always pay attention to what you're doing i cannot stress that enough but trust me y'all i've watched people literally you know be doing nails and they're just like talking which don't get me wrong i talk my but my butt off all day every day when i'm doing nails but i'm watching what i'm doing as i'm doing it so it's super important that you do that so after we finish um reshaping the nails or shaping the nails i'm gonna go in and just dust the nails off and then we're gonna move on to the acrylic application so before we apply the acrylic we have to go in with the primer the primer is just to help the acrylic adhere a lot better to the natural nail so i just apply that on all of the nails only on the natural nail and then we're gonna go in with the acrylic, which I'm gonna be using my JC Beauty Concepts acrylic system, which is gonna be a pink acrylic, which is the Dramatic Pink by JC Beauty Concepts. And then I'm also using their um, monomer. So the first bead that I applied, I applied it closer to the cuticle area, patting it down really, really gently and then brushing that acrylic down towards the tip and this is also my real speed right here so you guys can see how gentle i brush i'm literally like just feathering the acrylic super gently if you brush too hard you're gonna brush that acrylic off the nail and it's gonna be a waste of product so also going around the cuticle area with my brush i am using the number 10 alpha brush um this is like the regular number 10 alpha brush you guys know that my brushes um launched yesterday actually and they completely sold out so if you got to purchase my brush set thank you guys so much for the support they will be back out in a few months um we are going to be relaunching them again so for those of you that missed out on the brush set don't worry they will be back um but anyways now we're just going in and applying a second bead um right below where we applied the first one same thing patting it down and very gently brushing it down towards the tip um, making sure that i clean the sides you want to make sure that you don't get any product on the skin because then you are going to get lifting because it's going to be really hard to get the product off the skin once it dries and even if you go with the e-file most likely you're going to cut your client so you have to be really careful to make sure that you're able to control your product so same thing for the next nail uh, applying your acrylic placing it down 
patting it down and then whenever you pat it down I'm basically like kind of pushing it as close as I can to the cuticle area and then making sure that I spread it throughout the entire nail and then brushing it down towards the tip and then also as you guys can see there with the belly of my brush I just wipe the sides and the tip of the nail to make sure that I'm able to keep my shape and then after that I go around the cuticle area making sure that I get rid of any other product that may be on the skin and as I'm working y'all, I'm steady wiping my brush off on a paper towel. I know you guys seen that little piece of acrylic that was stuck on my brush. So if I wouldn't have wiped that off on a paper towel, it would have got stuck in my brush and it would have dried. And then it would have been really hard for me to continue to apply my acrylic because then the acrylic would have continued to build up and build up in my brush. And then, you know, I would have to put it down, soak it in brush cleaner and wait until the acrylic soaked off. So make sure that as you're working, you're steady wiping your brush off on the paper towel. And I recommend the Viva paper towels, um, the signature cloth ones. They're really good for doing nails or that's really what I've been using for the longest because they just suck in all of that liquid from your brush. I've used other paper towels and the liquid kind of just sits on top of the brush and it just does not clean your brush off really good. I know there's also people that use like the paper towels that are in like the automotive section at like Walmart or like really any store. They're blue and they're also really soft. They really remind me of the paper, the Viva paper towels. So whichever ones you want to use are completely fine, but definitely make sure that you use something that's going to suck in all of your liquid from your brush. So I'm just going to continue to do the exact same thing on all of the nails. And also, even though the nails are short, you know, we still want to make sure that we have a nice little apex as well as a good thickness at the tip. That way our nails do not break off easily because, again, even though they're short, it can happen.
Alrighty, so after I finish applying the acrylic, I'm going to go in with my same 100-100 nail file and I'm just going to be reshaping the nails. So same thing going in on the sides at a 90 degree angle and we're just going to do that on all of the nails and this is to um, redefine the shape because after we apply the acrylic, sometimes it just takes away from our shape. So, and then also sometimes there's like little, you know, pieces of acrylic on the sides and we just want to make sure that we get rid of that as well. Alrighty, so now we're gonna go in and file the nails. This time I am using my extra fine drill bed and I'm using my e-file at 10,000 RPMs. And what I'm doing is just basically making sure that I seal the acrylic around the cuticle area really good to make sure that it's nice and neat and sealed. That way we don't get any lifting. And then of course, making sure that I file the entire nail to make sure that it's all nice and smooth. And even though I'm able to apply my acrylic really nice and even I still file the rest of the nail but mainly focusing around that cuticle area because this is where like 80 or 90 really 90% of your lifting will come from if you do not seal the cuticle area correctly trust me when I first started doing nails I was scared to file around my clients cuticles really good because I was scared to cut them but the only way to get better is by practicing so if you need to slow your drill down a lot, that is completely fine. You just have to get used to the motion of going around the cuticle area. And also, as you guys see, whenever I'm working, I'm holding my client's finger with my pinky or I'm resting my pinky on my client's finger. And I just feel like that helps me get a, like really good stability. That way, my drill is not just all over the place. So the more you do nails, the more comfortable you're going to get and like you're just going to kind of fine little things here and there that are just gonna help you make the process a lot easier. But again, this step y'all is super important when it comes to lifting. I know whenever I was first doing nails, like, or when I was experiencing lifting, I felt like I was doing everything correctly, y'all. And it's honestly just a process of, of elimination. So you're like, okay, I'm prepping the nail correctly, so that can't be it, you know, I'm applying the correct size tip, so that's not it, you know. So you kind of just try to eliminate what you think you might be doing wrong and kind of try to improve that. Um, but for me, it was definitely not filing around the cuticle area, right? And that's why I was getting lifting. So just spend a little bit more time around or time <laughs> around the cuticle area if you need to, but make sure y'all that you seal that acrylic really good um and usually i'm able to tell that i've sealed it good enough to where i'm able to see where the cuticle is where the natural nail is and where the acrylic is that way i know that the acrylic is not on the skin and again this is the extra fine drill bed this one will be available on my amazon storefront and basically i don't know if you guys know but my amazon storefront 
is basically where I just add all of the products that I've purchased from Amazon that I highly recommend and I just have them categorized by like items you need for um, press on nails, everything you need for acrylic nails. So I just added a whole bunch of different products. Some products I no longer use but I still feel like they are really good for beginners as far as like the Mia Secret um, acrylic. You know I know a lot of times people are trying to find like really affordable products to just practice with and I feel like Mia Secret is you know pretty good um, if you're a beginner because it's cheap. I just don't want you guys to go out and buy like the really cheap sets from Amazon because y'all those are horrible when like people try to use those for um, doing acrylic nails because a lot of the time it's MMA acrylic and it just dries really hard and it just gives you a super hard time to where it kind of ruins your first um, try at doing nails so if you don't want to buy jcb to concepts because you might think that it's a little too pricey for you or any other known brand then you know you could consider using that one but again all of those products are in my amazon storefront i also have just different random list of products but again all of those are products that i've used that i recommend to you guys so be sure to go check it out i'll leave the link down below um so you guys can go straight to the link and it'll show all of my list that i've added on there Alrighty, so after we finish filing the nails, I'm going in with my buffer and this is just going to get rid of any of the scratches left on the nails from the hand file or the e-file. So make sure that you buff those nails really, really good because you don't want to see those scratches through your polish. Alrighty, so after I finish buffing the nails, I just dust the nails off and then I'm going to wipe them off with an alcohol wipe and that's just going to get rid of the rest of the dust that was left on the nails. And then I'm going to show you what the nails look like after the acrylic application and everything before the polish. As you can see, they are super nice and smooth. We have a nice little apex there. Um, they're not too thick or too thin. They're literally the perfect shape as well and the perfect length for her so um, that's just what that looks like but now we're going in with this color which is all natural by Madame Glam you guys know that I absolutely love their gel polishes um, however you know as a beginner they are a little bit pricey and you just don't want to go out and spend so much money as a beginner so this year I am gonna focus on trying to review more products that that are more beginner friendly as far as price um, so here soon I'm gonna be um, reviewing a new brand that I came across and their polishes um, are really good and super super cheap um, so I'll be sure to um, post that video here soon um, but I'm just going in with this color I'm gonna be doing two coats of it on each nail and then after that we're gonna care for each coat for 30 seconds and then we're gonna go in with a top coat
Alrighty y'all, so even though this set was not long and blinked out like you guys are used to seeing, they still turned out really, really cute. I wanted to focus on the acrylic application and just doing short nails for beginners. So as always, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope it was helpful. And as always, don't forget to like, don't forget to subscribe, and also don't forget to hit the little bell so you are notified every time that I post.